I'm going to tell you the story of my organization's journey from competition to collaboration to partnership and some of the things I learned on the way. As you can tell from my white hair, I'm a long time on the road and I've benefited so much from mentoring and learning. And I can say today that I am always learning every day just sitting here being challenged by Davy and by some of his ideas really is what an event like this is about. A little bit of background. In the early 70s, I was teaching in the prisons. And there I made a discovery that shaped my life. There were no middle class children in prison. Only those from disadvantaged communities struggling with poverty mostly early school leavers. But I met some of the most bright and intelligent young men, but with no opportunities. I realized then that education is the only fast track out of poverty and disadvantage, and that's where I set my life. In 1996, I found the Shanty, the Shanty Education Project out in West Tallaght. And I realized I had come home. I found a philosophy and a focus there that I was totally in tune with. In the Shanty, we saw education as a living system, supporting common ways of learning, accommodating diverse capacities, cultures, and learning paths of the community we were working in, enabling community, communal solidarity and sticking together developing programs that the, t that the community wanted, developing them with them, for them, and delivering them in close, uh, uh, in close cooperation. And also, we learned about learning to transgress, to challenge social inequality and injustice. And these were the values I espoused in my practice. But there was a warp there somewhere. As I reflect on my early days of engagement, and I'm sure this will not uh, resonate with most of you because you've gone way beyond this, but my on-the-ground experience of working in the community was of working in the context of fierce competition, knowledge, information, opportunities, resources were all held firmly. Our arms were wrapped around all of that. We were unwilling to share that. This was the context in which community organizations worked and survived. And you know, I need at some level to be critical of the state because it was quite encouraged. By nature, I am a deeply competitive person. I always want the gold star. I wanted every resource, all the knowledge, information, and the opportunities for on Kasson the Shanty Educational Project. That was how I worked in the early days. We were successful at what we did, and I saw no need to change the way in which I worked. One Saturday, I think it was in 2004, I sat in the office with the chair of our board and co-founder, Catherine Zappone, uh, and we were working on a program, a proposal for a childhood development initiative and we were going to approach Atlantic Philanthropies, the big funders. I was so engaged. Then Catherine suggested that we ought to consider working collaboratively with all the relevant organizations and agencies around to ensure the best outcomes for children. I was totally taken aback. It was a completely unexpected challenge. Did she mean we would consult, consult and work with all the local players. This was completely new to me. When I think of those days, I think of Leonard Cohen's and his words, there's a crack in everything, and that's how the light gets in. So the light got in. So a new journey started for me and for the organization I led. It was a very exciting process starting to share concerns for our community, our children, our parents, 
common concerns, common desire to find resolutions to be the solution. Creating for Tala West the Childhood Development Initiative, which three years later took off under its own wings. On Kasson, and I am so proud of what was achieved in that process and what that learning meant for us in Ancasson and for me as leader of the organization. This was a really formative experience for me. I was beginning to experience the power of collaboration and to realize that we live in one another's shadow, what you spoke of earlier, that we live in one another's shadow and we will achieve through collaboration far more. Ancason is a community organization, and the ethos and culture of community education really increases participation of socially excluded adults, learners, and those who've had previous really negative experiences of education. Around 2007, when we launched CDI, which you know, was a time of awakening for me, I was invited by AIMFAS uh, to become involved in the setup and the development of the Community Education Network. This was a collaborative network of over 100 independently managed community education providers who work collaboratively together all around Ireland, sharing information, resources, and engaging in continuous professional development and working to make sure that community education is valued and respected. This was a very exciting process, working in this collaborative way, becoming a force for change. Ten years on, the Community Education Network is still a force for change, and we see our strength as we collaborate together on a variety of issues, trying to ensure that education Community education, far the marginalized, does not stay on the margins, does not receive the crumbs from the educational table, but really encouraging the state to see the value in the work in which we do, because we reach people very few other groups are able to reach. So collaboration has been key to my and Uncle Son's work for many years now. But I suppose the highlight of collaboration and the, the flourishing of that is in the development of Uncle Son's Virtual Community College. We wanted to bring some of our programs, particularly those, uh, sorry, uh, those higher education access programs to other communities like Tala West. Technology, I realized, is a most powerful disruptive force globally. But I realized it could be a force for very strong uh, educational. If we could keep the person at the center, that technology could support uh, everybody, anybody, anywhere, accessing education. If we could create the correct model. And that model was a blended learning model. But we realized that it really required a partnership approach to achieve this. And so we work in partnership with local community organizations to offer higher education, particularly through blended learning. Our community partners recruit the learners. Together, partners and VCC uh, provides the technology, sources the funding, we create a collaborative learning community, and VCC delivers the programs and provides the academic support needed. For me, creating this model has been the most exciting development of, my, of our work. Over the past three years, we've moved from working with three community partners to 34, and to having a number of learners, 429 engaged in higher education. This is access at its best, and this is how technology can really support us move forward. But this is just the first step. We recognize that there are amazing programs developed and delivered locally. And in partnership with VCC, we can see ways of absolutely scaling these programs nationally. 
we see technology can support the enhancement of all community education. It can ensure that we bring education into the 21st century. Collaboration is a far cry from competition. And as we move in this spiral, I'm reminded of T.S. Eliot's words. We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all of our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. We're on a journey. There's openness and invitations to anybody who would like to work with us to ensure that we can harness that power of technology, keeping the person at the center of all our work and create a different future. Thank you.